given the function fx equals to kx plus 2 over 2x minus 3, where x is not equals to 3 over 2, where k is a constant. So the question is to find the value of k if f fx is equals to x. Alright, so to solve this question, we have two methods, or maybe we have other methods. So here I will only show two methods to solve this question. Okay, so for the first method, okay, uh, we know that from the information given is f composite with f is equals to x, or this is equivalent to f f x equals to x. So what we're going to do, we're going to take the function f, and then we substitute x with the function f again. So that's mean x here, we, we substitute with f, and also x at the denominator also we substitute with f and this is equals to x right so we can simplify this equation and hope to uh, to solve the value of k all right so first we can multiply both side by the denominator and then we can simplify at the right hand side so it's become 2x times kx plus 2 over 2x minus 3 minus 3x and also we can so we can expand for the left hand side so we get that expression and then we can multiply 2x into the uh, fraction at the right hand side we get 2kx squared plus 4x okay and then we can bring 2 to the right you come 3x minus 2 and then we from the right hand side to the left and then we can combine these two fractions since the denominator is the same and then we can multiply both sides by 2x minus 3 and then we can expand that so we get negative uh, 6x squared okay, minus 4x plus 9x plus 6 and then we can simplify this this is equivalent to negative 6x squared plus 5x plus 6 and then we can bring negative 4x to the right hand side and then the equation becomes negative 6x squared plus 9x plus 6. So now what we're going to do is we're going to compare the coefficient. Alright, so first we can compare any coefficient. So here we can compare, for example, we compare the constant, okay, which is 2k is equals at the left hand side, the constant is 2k and the right hand side we have 6. So that's mean uh, 2k is equals to 6, so that's mean k is equals to 3. Okay, also the same if we compare with other coefficient, we get we still get the same answer, which is k is equals to 3. Alright, so that is the first method. We also can use second method, okay, to find uh, the value of k. Alright, so we have this function, f f x equals to x or f f x equals to x okay the composite function f composite with f is equals to x right so this is only possible if f inverse is uh, this is only possible if f is composite with its inverse so that's mean f x is equals to f inverse all right so we can use this information to find k Right, so we're going to do back the process of finding uh, inverse of f. Right, so we use this information. So we know that f f inverse equals to x. So we can let y equals to f inverse. So f y equals to x. So we can substitute into f x uh, with y. So k y plus 2 over 2 y minus 3 equals to x. Right, so we're going to rearrange this equation so that y become a subject. Right, so first we can multiply both sides by 2y minus 3 and then we can expand that. We get um, 2xy minus 3x at the right hand side and then we can bring okay, the coefficient, okay, the factor of y to the right hand side and then we can factorize y and then we get y is equals to uh, 2 plus 3x over 2x minus k. Right, so and y is f inverse. Right, so we know that from our previous information that f x is equals to f inverse. Right, so we can compare these two result. Okay, which is we know that f x is k x plus two 
over 2x minus 3 and f inverse equals to 2 plus 3x over 2x minus k. Right, so we can compare okay, the numerator and denominator. Right, so okay, we can compare this element here. Okay, so at the numerator, it should be 2 plus kx and that is equivalent to the numerator at the right hand side which is 2 plus 3x. So that means k is equals to 3. So the same if we compare the denominator which is k is here and 3 is here. So that means k also equals to 3. So we get the answer k equals to 3.